All right, as you can hear, we got some more ghetto irrigation going on. Well, that's all right, it's not a big deal. It will be placed underground soon. It's just uh, I needed the water now because everything is dead. But that's part of the plan because I've actually had a test area on this side. And uh, I'll show you. Um, the last paddock over here on the bottom in the creek area and I've been irrigating this every three days or so and uh, as you can tell it's nice and lush very green well I bought a whole bunch of uh, 10 pounds of Bermuda giant Bermuda grass seed and a whole bunch of other types of uh, seeds alfalfa and um, what else? Alfalfa and clover, white clover. And it's all going to be over seeded, broadcast seeded here. Um, I have good expectations for the Bermuda and the clover, the alfalfa. It's going to be kind of one of those things where you kind of want in one hand and you know what in the other. And see which one fills up first and I'm definitely hoping and I'm wanting the alfalfa to sprout and grow but it might not alfalfa is very delicate and very particular on what it needs hey all the girls are up here right now I had them down in the creek area but you could tell they're all nice and fat but I got the ghetto irrigation going here and it's going it's irrigating this whole area And I'm piecing it together still over here. But we need to get this pasture green because it is definitely, definitely dry. It died. We had a whole bunch of cool season grass and it's all dead. I mowed it and now we are got to move on to warm season grass, which is going to be the Bermuda. But you can't exactly just switch. You can't exactly just switch over and call it a day. You got to kill all the old stuff and then you got to plant the new stuff and you got to make sure you have irrigation. Without the irrigation, you're not going to have anything going for you. And that's exactly what I'm trying to avoid here. But as you can see, the goats are eating up all the remnants. I didn't use any type of Roundup or anything. I just used good old fashioned drought. What do you know? You stop watering it and it dies. Hmm, who would have thought? But anyway, um, I've now moved all the bucks out. They're all back here. He's one of the last ones that just kept getting out. If you don't stop getting out, we're going to put a ring at, around him and, uh, so he could stop. But anyway, we got all the goats out here, all the bucks in this pen, and all the does in the other. Ricky's going to go ahead and provide us with his services again and all the does. Uh, not all of them, some of the does because we definitely need to get these girls going again. All right, sorry about that. I had to pause the video. Had something come up real quick, but got that taken care of, no big deal. Anyway, back over here. This, I was irrigating it and it was going fine, but decided against it. It's just not gonna work out. So we're gonna go with different irrigation means and we're not gonna irrigate it at the moment, at the time being. Um, but it, it will it will happen and it will go on, but it is what it is. Over here on this side, as you can see, we're starting to get plenty of shade from these small, very small young trees. So it's actually really nice. All this garbage right here, but you can see the goats are really starting to tear into all this right here. Starting to really get all this crap out of here, but it's exposing a lot of this junk right here. So, I mean, it is what it is. Only thing I'm afraid of is, you know, holes in between the concrete and they're running from something or someone and uh, I break a leg. Um, stated in a previous video, I really don't like goat meat. So that's why a lot of these goats are kind of sticking around um not a big fan of it so 
you know, really hoping that doesn't happen. But um, I will eat them if I have to. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's all this crap right here. I sprayed Roundup on it and it finally died. Most of it. Got to go spray it again. We're going to go right there. My fig tree got eaten by gophers. Um, as usual, we can't get any kind of uh, fig trees in here because they, the gophers will just destroy the roots. Um, still have that freaking refrigerator down there and still have all that crap down there. But um, it's going to have to stay for now. Uh, we could go down here now. Get away from the goats. But it was trash day and every time the trash gets picked up we get a whole bunch of like plastic and trash bags um, and it sucks because that's not good for cattle or or goats but as you can see they've trampled a lot of this stuff down and uh, it's starting to come up all the new stuff is starting to come up all the warm season grass it's starting to come up which is great because literally zero irrigation down here but the Bermuda is hardy and any type of moisture that's down here it'll grow through a lot of this is like a fescue and some uh, I'm guessing maybe a little bit of uh, some kind of rye but it's all growing through it's all warm season stuff here and it'll eventually die when it starts getting too hot. But uh, we do have some Bermuda starting to pop up there. And some more Bermuda starting to pop, pop up out here. So it's, it's perfect. Already have a little bit of Bermuda in it right now. And uh, gonna go ahead and put some more Bermuda down. Clover and alfalfa. Like I said, alfalfa is probably not gonna do all that great. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Hopefully it sprouts. Hopefully I can keep it moist enough and get it going. Um, I just irrigated this earlier this morning, so it's really nice and damp down here. For some reason, once this goes into this stage, like once the oats, these are wild oats here. You can tell because they're really tall. But once the they drop all the the oats and uh, husk is just the left over they really don't care for it anymore let's see if my tree survived oh I don't think so oh yeah still hidden still alive barely but the goats definitely they definitely tear it up to sapling maybe a couple years from now it'll be better all this stuff right here there you go there's a single sprig of Bermuda that's growing perfect I know there's a lot of Bermuda down here oh yeah you can see all the Bermuda starting to grow and Bermuda is beautiful and perfect for this type of terrain because it's gonna hide a lot of this crap that's already here it's gonna build really heavy rhizomes well, there it is, a lot of Bermuda. Super. Eventually I'd like to just transition it to Bermuda and Clover instead of all this crap here because it's just no good. No good. This stuff I have no idea what it is either but the goats eat the heck out of it. And it's got a bunch of seeds which is kind of like a grain. <clears throat> so it's going to give them their carbohydrates. So that's why I really haven't tore it down. Animal nutrition is really important. They thrive on it too. They're, they're doing great. They're doing really well. Main reason why I seeded all these oats, uh, or most of these oats, because animals have certain nutrition requirements and see here's all the seeds I mean just it's a hardy seed too it's almost like a grain but it's not a grain um, they, they require carbohydrates you know a large load of carbohydrates and protein to make the meat but the carbohydrates um, 
make the milk too so puts the fat in the milk which makes it good quality and then when you get your milk tested you get uh, high marks on milk quality if you got a lot of milk fat content or butter fat content that's what we're going for here quality stuff so this pasture does well um, without really much without really doing much to it but we'll see how we could improve it that's the plan improve never ever ever stop that's funny that's too funny never stop improving <laughs> anyway but that's really the the plan um, you really just want to kind of continue doing everything and getting everything done but yeah this property's came a long way, I tell you what. The goats are doing great. I'm pretty pleased. A lot of this old stuff could just rot away. It'll be good for the soil. Oh man, I'm happy. Super. Hey, wishbone, what's up? He hates me. Just because I took him away from his mama. He'll be fine. He needs to be weaned now anyway. All the goats are here. And that's it. That's all I got. Got kind of winded. Got a couple minutes going. Irrigation's going. Alright. That's it.